Hey guys, I haven't recorded anything in a while, but uh, that has its reasons. I'm in Bulgaria now, walking in a beautiful village, and these are the little streets. Everything is blossoming. It's the beginning of spring. It's like 20 degrees. It's amazing, actually. Walking on those old streets where I used to walk when I was very little it feels like uh, it feels like magic actually it's the appreciation of being back to those memories and uh, connecting to the land and speaking to the locals and meeting all those beautiful beings on the way it's very quiet at the moment because the village is uh, mainly populated with a lot of uh, tourists in the summer july and august and now it's just the locals and uh, here I am, the local, walking around. It's amazing listening to the birds and smelling those um, smells, reminding me of my childhood. It's just incredibly ble blissful in a way. Blissful, sorry. Um, yeah, my English is starting to disappear, I guess, because it's, uh, it's been a month now. Just Bulgarian. Here we are, look at the trees. The mixture of the trees is very different from New Zealand, of course, but that's more European. So yeah, a lot of meditation, a lot of walking and connecting, as I said, with the land and the people. And of course, with my family and uh, relatives and old friends, it's been, it's been really good, really rewarding and um, very different. And again, it's, um, following what it's calling us and that's that's my main um, core of this video probably the whole foundation of it is that we we need to follow what our heart tells us to do and this is what I'm doing and that's why I said I will be recording and sharing with all of you what's happening and why I'm here I also would like to speak about the portal that I'm going to and again that came through my visions and I've been shown where to go what to do how to do it and again it will be a surprise but um, for now I think I'll leave it like that and I'll record another video where I will be speaking about what's coming in May and that's mainly the portal on the 5th of May that I'm going to but um, I need to structure it more and uh, put it in a way that it's more understandable I guess and it's again speaking my truth but aligning it with the physical and with the human understanding and perception of what is that going to look like and again it's through my eyes sharing my experience this is the little um, Square, the main square actually of the village. I used to love coming here, nothing's changed. The cinema, this building is the cinema at the back. They still do even summer cinemas where it's all open. It's incredibly quiet and very peaceful. And the sad part in a way is that those villages don't have many people and the young people have left long ago to go and look for work or for better education in the big cities so everything here has been left not looked after in a way so this is the sad part but um, at the same time a lot of foreigners are coming and investing which I would say we should be grateful for but we should be doing it ourselves look at this building behind me it's completely fallen apart completely and no one's doing anything. It's been like this for more than 10 years, probably. This place here used to be where the, in the summer they bring the summer circus and the carousels and the kids and drawing. And I, I believe they'll do it this summer too. Another month and a half too, and it will be crowded. Um, yeah, the other interesting thing is that people don't come much out of the big cities to the villages like 
in New Zealand, for example, here, here we are, I can compare, but I can compare also with England, where I used to live. People go away in the weekends, whereas here people don't go that much away in the weekends. It is really interesting. So it's quite empty. And just old people mainly you can see. Very few children, very few. As I said, the kindergarten and the school are not very well maintained. And that's not something to be proud of, but um, I think this will be changing and it will come from us when we change it, when we participate in it and uh, take a step to create something new. I also heard a friend that she's starting, um, she already started a kindergarten and the kindergarten is based on outdoor stuff and learning other languages and it's based in Sofia, but um, she just started a school, more like a green school, more like um, you still do what it's needed to learn at school, all the subjects, but at lunchtime all the kids go outside and, uh, and they start exploring what is the nature, how we interact with nature, what kind of things we are attracted to and what we like in terms of uh, outdoor because in the capital and in the big cities most of the year people stay indoors and uh, don't interact with that beauty outside um, and that's what I saw when I arrived in Bulgaria this time that um, people live in apartments they don't even open their windows it's not much fresh air it's it's strange and the pollution is huge so uh, appreciating even more New Zealand, but uh, appreciating other places in the world too. And it's a reminder again, what we want to leave behind and how we want to leave it. And it's not to wait on the system, on the governments. It's taking action, doing what you want to see as a change now. And I guess that's why I came here because I've been pulled back to the roots and to the ancestors invitation in a way to my soul to come back to where I started and and that takes me back to the book of Paolo Coelho the alchemist we always find the treasure in the beginning where we started but the treasure would not be found unless we have experienced the journey so there is a journey there is a process there is acknowledgement of where we're going but without the emotional experience and the relationships and situations on the way, we are not going to learn. So, going back to darkness and light, we have to experience what there is, good or bad, and there is no good or bad. It's one, it's the same. So we need to be kind to each other and for a start to ourselves, because that's how we are gonna be projecting and treating others. Look at that lady doing her garden. It's, it's amazing. It's people are just happy and doing what they can do without even thinking of where the world is heading, especially in these villages. I'm not talking about the big city where everybody's moaning and complaining. <laughs> so yeah, this is part one of my Bulgarian beginning of my trip. It's taken me a month to put things together and to, to experience so much. It's been up and down, questioning what's going on, why am I here, what am I doing, meeting new people, connecting with spiritual people who will be creating things and who are creating things for the people and for the land and wishing to keep the the bond between the land and the humans so i'll keep you posted have a, an amazing day wherever you are in the world i'll see you soon <laughs>